guys, it's Gypsy. What's up? Hit the subscribe button and save yourself the trouble cause you're gonna wanna do it at the end of the video anyway. Quick shout out to my girl on Instagram, Mickey Monroe 1016 and her daughter, Manaya. Gotta give shout outs to my cuties. And to this newish YouTube channel, DIY Doll Guy. If you wanna know a great permanent doll hair dyeing method, go check out the tutorial on his channel because it is super easy. So now, what are we up to today? If you're following us on Instagram, you already know I've been working on customizing this here yellow top made to move Barbie. My challenge is to give this newly unboxed MTM doll a makeover and have her looking totally different from Genesis Quinn over here. So I decided to start with her hair. She has an unusually large puff compared to other dolls dolls in this line so I thought that it would be fun to straighten her hair and I'm gonna share my process with you all I figured because her ponytail puff is quite large that her hair would be a little bit longer than some of the yellow top made to move dolls in this line okay disclaimer although I am working with this doll I suggest for your experiment to try dolls with longer hair because it'll be much easier now before you start make sure that your doll doesn't have any gel or gunk in her hair if so wash it all out with soap and conditioner and just towel dry it it doesn't have to be totally dry before we start all right you're going to need a brush to part the hair with and to detangle it you can use a comb but I'm just gonna use this brush because I have it handy you need a cup of cold water it doesn't really matter what temperature the water is but you don't have to go out of your way to heat the water is what I'm trying to say you need a curling iron or a straightening iron it'll probably be easier with a straightening iron but if you only have a curling iron around you can try it too it's it's probably gonna work anyway. You can also use those mini irons that are for just your bangs. Those probably are the perfect size for dolls actually. So you wanna get your iron to a medium low setting. When you do this, I suggest you use a doll that has at least this grade of saran hair. It's gotta be like that silky kind of newish saran hair. Not sure if this will work with other synthetic fibers like nylon, you know, like those 90s Barbies or older, but this is the method that I use for these newer dolls. This doll has no gel in her hair, so I won't be washing it first. Now let's section the hair in the back. I always start from the back so that I can lay the hair down on top of each other as I go. Let's tie the rest of the hair up. Another tip is to have the doll between your thighs as you work to grip her and to keep her steady. Or you can just clamp her down to something if you have something around to do that with. All right, so first you're gonna take the water, dip your fingers into the water and run your fingers over the section of the hair that you have parted until it's wet. It doesn't need to be dripping wet. Just make sure that you have the water on the hair from the roots to the end, even if you're not straightening the entire piece of hair that you're working on. So after you've done that, just run the iron through the hair a couple of times. Don't hold the iron down on one section for too many seconds. As long as the hair is damp while you're doing this, it's not going to burn, so you can keep running it through as many times as you want. And now, all the curls are gone. I will continue this process until I get to the top. The thing about this doll that I found to be challenging was that despite her awesome silky hair quality and the ease with which I could straighten the hair, her hair has been rooted upside down so that it naturally wants to stick up into the air, like as if it was being gathered into this puffy ponytail that it already came in. When rocking an afro style, this is a good thing because it helps the hair to have more of like a rounded, you know, big poofy look. I understand why the doll's hair was rooted upside down, but for flat straight styles, this is kind of annoying to deal with because you kind of have to like fight the direction that the hair wants to naturally lay in. I do have a remedy for that. After I style the hair straight, I just wrap the doll's head with a fabric strip, sort of like a little scarf, and I train the hair to stay flat in the direction I want it to lay. After a few days, it'll just remain flat and, you know, kind of just lay in that direction, but that's a whole extra process to have to go through, you know what I mean? So I would suggest, again, that if you're going to do this, just experimentally try it on a doll whose hair is already laying in the right direction. Nonetheless, the texture is straight like I wanted it, and this is what I want you guys to see. You can straighten doll hair with a flat iron despite the myth that it will burn the doll's hair. In this clip, you can see the difference in the texture between the natural state of the hair and the flat ironed hair. So now I'm almost done. I've gone through her entire head, and now that I've done this, because her hair is rooted in the wrong direction, I will start from the back and then move my way back up to the front and re-straighten the hair. Before I do, I wanted you to see the length of the doll's hair 
it's a little bit past her shoulders. So I think we achieved quite a bit of length out of this puffy ponytail that it was in and I haven't cut any of the hair. Now here's what I'm going to do next. Just keep straightening the hair. Again, I have to wet it before I do this and as I go, I think I will curl the ends in. Just take your time as you do this. Watch a video or a TV show or this channel, wink wink, and the time will go by really quickly. It only takes 30 minutes or less to get through one doll's head. It's super, super simple. I'll be documenting the progress of my custom customization of this doll. I'm really excited to see how she's going to turn out and even more excited to share her makeover with you guys. I'll just skip to the end because I think you guys get the idea by now and I'll show you how her hair turned out. This is it. I think it's very cute. Her hair is still a bit puffy because of how it's rooted but for most dolls this process will make it really straight and flat. Think of the water as the heat resistant cream that you might put in your own hair. Don't forget the water when you do this guys and make sure that you're curling iron or your straightening iron has a heat setting that's rather low you can turn it up a little bit as you go if it doesn't seem hot enough but always start at a very low setting follow us on instagram to get sneaky peekies of how her makeover is coming along now aren't you glad you subscribed at the beginning of the video now you don't have to hear me say i told you so until next time have a fan plastic dolly day